Alfa Romeo has been back in North America for quite a long while now, however in spite of propelling with a provocative, unadulterated idealist schemes auto, and after that a moderate size vehicle that is still hella hot, neither of those fragments are lighting the market ablaze, so it's been a moderate begin for the brand. Keeping in mind the end goal to really contend in the extravagance scene, Alfa Romeo needs a SUV, and this is it, the 2018 Alfa Romeo Stelvio. The Stelvio was produced coupled with the Giulia, sharing the Giorgio stage, irregular aside, Alfa Romeo has got some insane cool names, and intended to offer the ordinary payload and common sense preferences of the hatchback, and more rough capacity of included ground leeway and standard AWD. Since I know you're biting the dust to hear about the measurements, freight space, and inside space, we should make a plunge slash 4698 millimeters, for all that amazing load space that you need to catch wind of. The storage compartment space is 18.5 kfoot, 525 liters, and the back seats can be collapsed down to open up 56.5 kfoot, 1600 liters, on the off chance that you have to bring home a dishwasher. Alpha benchmarked the Audi Q5, Porsche Megan, and BMW X3, not the updated one, obviously, and despite the fact that the Stelvio is longer than any of those, it's just superior to the Megan for payload space, while the Q5 and X3 beat it with seats up or down. In case you're simply pulling the family, the back seat is fine for kids yet misses the mark concerning its rivals in the extravagance class, don't bother standard compacts like the Honda CRV or Nissan Rogue. While the Stilvio isn't as pragmatic as those champions, in any event it has over 2 inches, 65 millimeters, more ground leeway than the Jewy if and just about 8 inches, 200 millimeters, to get past more profound snow and grooves. It can't handle the Rubicon trail, yet can positively get you to your cabin in over a few knocks. The other advantage to the raised stature is the higher seating position, and the driver's seat in the Stilvio is around 7.5 inches, 190 millimeters, higher than in the Giulia, offering a superior vantage point for seeing deterrence ahead, and raised seats are less demanding to access for kids situate establishment. The front seats are additionally to a great degree agreeable and even following a couple long days out and about, I felt crisp and flexible with no back dormant. Nonetheless, the drawback to the additional stature is body roll and the bring forth a range includes weight, the two foes to the energetic dynamic and enthusiastic interests that Alpha is endeavoring to offer. To battle this, Alpha held the suspension engineering from the Julia, yet dialed in spring and damper firmness to oblige the additional weight and dullness. The objective of the updated suspension was to hold the same move profile as the Julia, implying that in spite of being situated higher, the auto will turn on a direct relative toward the driver like the Julia. In more straightforward terms, they intended to influence it to feel like a car. All things considered, with 19-inch wheels, 20-inch wheels are discretionary, and an energetic suspension as prepared, it unquestionably felt appropriately lively to my butt. Alpha likewise makes great claims about the move security with respect to contenders hybrids and cars, and keeping in mind that it may enhance base models or past ages they had close by to benchmark. The bar is continually changing and it would take a more straightforward correlation with Concur that they have enhanced the new Audi Q5 or will measure up to the up-and-coming Volvo XC60. To flaunt its lively DNA, Alfa Romeo conveyed us to Italy to test the Stelvio on its namesake, the Stelvio Pass. Stelvio is an awesome name for an Italian vehicle and invokes pictures of sentimental mountain passes and top gear scenes, however it's not really the best place to test an extravagant SUV. Regardless of how coordinated and responsive your SUV is, it will feel expensive, unwieldy and claustrophobic on the Stilvio Pass, whose 75 beret turns offer an endless arrangement of sphincter holding minutes as you arrange each corner trusting that there won't be a cruiser dashing down the widely appealing or a truck involving practically the whole width of the tightest areas. In all actuality, it is the early extend and last part of the pass that feature the Stilvio SUV's phenomenal guiding, all-around adjusted stun retention, and stable taking care of, and that is without the discretionary versatile damping framework. It truly is very amusing to drive when you don't feel like it doesn't have a sufficiently tight swinging circle to arrange the more tightly fasteners and feels too wide to sneak past a conveyance truck, or bound by unthinkable sight edges that even a convertible would be tested to manage. Leaving turns when there's no sign of danger, however, the Stelvio's back one-sided AWD was valued, likewise helped by brake-based torque vectoring, in spite of the fact that a mechanical locking back differential is accessible as an alternative. 
Furthermore, the brakes, even with all that workload, never faltered even after the genuine exercise of going up, down, and afterward back again, with great feel to enable you to feel good notwithstanding when there is a major shock around the bend. One thing that we could understanding further bolstering its full good fortune in the mountain pass was the influence on tap each time we came creeping out of a corner. Outfitted with a 2.0-liter turbo run of the mill for the fragment, the Stelvio's power plant directs at 280 horsepower and 306 pounds to foot of torque accessible from 2,250 to 4,500 revolutions per minute. That is a lot of adaptability, so the Stelvio, which weighs only 3,536 pounds, 1,604 question mark kg, goes ahead while as yet feeling loose an attribute numerous extravagance purchasers will make sure to appreciate. Obviously, it's no V8, and keeping in mind that it doesn't groan an automaton like somewhere in the range of 2.0T powertrains, it's not a soundtrack to get excited about, they're sparing that for the 500 horsepower quadrifoglio, no uncertainty. Matched with an 8-speed program transmission that can be changed to manual mode and controlled by paddle shifters, you can snatch as low an apparatus as you need and grope that power surge the slopes for a few thousand rpm before getting the following rigging, however it was uncommon to get past fourth apparatus on this climb. In manual mode or dynamic setting, the transmission was constantly diversion, with speedy sharp rigging changes, yet it wasn't to the detriment of cruelty or any issues in city movement or cruising along parkways. Alfa Romeo appraises the race to 60 miles per hour 5.4 seconds, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 5.7 seconds, so it's positively adequate for the school run or drive to the workplace that it will spend the greater part of its days winning. In that setting, the Alfa Romeo Stelvio deals with a proficient 22 miles per gallon in the city, 28 on the expressway and 24 miles per gallon consolidated, 10. 8 eighths point three slash nine point six liters slash one hundred kilometers, which is respectable for the section. In the drudgery of day by day life, the Stelvio will be sufficiently functional, in spite of the fact that there are a few characteristics to the inside that may take some getting used to. The infotainment framework is shown on a wide screen that isn't extremely tall, and the maps did not zoom out about sufficiently far from my inclinations to see a bigger review of the course. In spite of the fact that normal, the maps were not forward on specific segments of our drive, so in the event that you depend intensely on course direction, admonition and tour, come on, we were in Italy driving an Italian auto, you knew I needed to get some Latin in there someplace. Just be happy I don't begin citing Pliny the Elder. Another peculiarity is the wiper stock, as it was somewhat of a riddle to translate how to initiate only a speedy ripe of the back wiper. Of course, those are minor things to disregard if the Stelvio ends up being an extravagant and solid family vehicle. This being the extravagance section, quality will likewise be judged, and keeping in mind that there are numerous pleasant materials, with fine cowhide and real wood and metal trims, unexpected switchgear in comparison to its Dodge and Chrysler corporate kin, it's to some degree a pack for fit, complete and plastics all through the lodge. As to dependability, the Juia has made them teeth issues most definitely, yet it is still too soon to tell if those issues have been arranged for the Stelvio, or will endure and cover the Alfa Romeo mark before it can even be completely restored.